I always wanted to play this game back in the day. I remember. I smell oh. asphalt. I think of Marine. She smelled like asphalt. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Never simple. No. Yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. Rip Burger, you're dumber than dirt. Oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan, my vision. I know your plan, Rip Burger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Well, oh, sir, that's horrible. I am not waiting for you to I'm die. hiding the cutscenes. Uh, I mean, the you subtitles. You know, I've never liked you, Rip. You always but sucked. But you have business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. Why, thank you, sir. You get but those ultra combos so much on Killer Instinct. Riding up to our shareholders meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Motors customers. What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You don't even You've ride! You've never even been on a bike! Oh, what the hell? Oh, you know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Ah, your ears are fine. It's what's between them that scares me. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh, man. We got a hover car? Wait, we got hover cars? Why are we riding around in bikes? And again, we got a lot of exhaust, so I guess that's kind of cool. Now there go some boys I can ride with. Step on it. Let's find out who they are. I feel like a motorhead song is about to start. Or either that, like, uh... Um, like one Queen song. Or this song, I guess. Mark Hamill's in this. I mean, Tim Schafer, obviously, but like Mark Hamill. Jackals, huh? Yeah, take that, Tim Schafer. Take a little cigar there. What is that? Is that Pete Vialto <laughs> Cola? Hey, Ben. You gotta you know, drink ben, a problem. Bro, bro. All the guys yeah. just haven't been had the guts to tell you. Soon. We're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. I ain't got my 40 hours this week, Ben. Don't worry about it. Eh, uh, you better stay out here, Rip. This Don't place kick your is ass. bikers only. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's the guy that drove over my car? Oh, yeah.
Bye. What could possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two by four. Hmm, an appealing notion, but improbable. Anyone that says More improbable is a bad guy. Him to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that illegal? Not back then, it wasn't. <laughs> Why we beat the crap Some out of him? Oh, days. he rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We have come here today to offer you and your men employment. Work? Mr. We don't work, we're bikers! an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen, I said we're not for rent. The polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish. Rip Burger! That does it! I'm gonna... Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Rip Burger for a little chat. We'll Excellent compare our chins! Idea. And the doctor says he only has a few months to live. That's mm. bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't Sell it to the Japanese! I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. The polecats are not thugs for rent. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the rot wheelers. The old man the says wheelers. the polecats are nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word? That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. A oh, two by four? I don't know. I'm, I'm not into those. <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little 200 pound loose end. <laughs> it will need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a All surprise. he's gonna do is sell it to the, the Japanese! Hey, where's Ben going? You weigh more of that? What's up, Hold Your Fire? Yeah, he would, you think he'd be like 260. Offer, after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll him, boys! Yahoo! Corbill, here we come! Oh, hey. Object highlight. Oh, there's an object highlight button. You can get commentary. F1 will switch render mode. Steer bike. Walk to open verb skull confirm. So left click and right click. That's kind of it, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely not using that. So we're using the mouse. <laughs> like, because it's a point and click game. Here, let's object highlight. Oh, look at that! Look at, look. Was that, I, that wasn't in the original game. Hey, check it out. Here's what the original game looked like. Hey, they did a pretty good job. Oh, object highlight doesn't work in the original. You know. Yeah, it is for, yeah, the remake's totally for casuals. Check it out. Though now we can see what this says. See, before, you wouldn't know that it said General Surplus. You'd think it would be, like, General Sue, but no, it's General Surplus. Yeah, they did a good job keeping with the art style, I gotta say. Because the old game... Oh. I kind of like the object highlight. Without that, all you do is just move your pick, like move the mouse over everything to see if it does something. Whereas here, it's like, oh, okay, I, there's three things. There's the boxes. No, there's this. He's in the dumpster, isn't he? There we go. Didn't mess up my hair, though. Dumpster is a brand name. Oh, I mean in the trash receptacle. What's up, Ginger Vitus? <laughs> in the waste receptacle. <laughs> Make sure my jaw's in place. Boxes. Oh, wait, I got options here. Kick boxes. No. Fine. 
grab boxes? I can't see any use for those. You can put shit in them. What do you mean you can't see any use for? Talk I'm to the boxes. I'm my lips on that. I didn't say lick them. Oh, uh, that's. Oh, look. I'm doing pretty good. Just playing some full throttle. Empty boxes. He really should flatten these so they can be recycled. He's right, you know. Also, they take up less space when you flatten them. They're empty. I've woken up and worse. It was that one time it sues. Ah, oh, man, I need a drink. Oh, my goodness. I my bike. No one fucked with it. The kickstand. Nice name. Oh, look inside the kickstand. It's empty, but I can see the bartender in there. I'm gonna flip him off. Interesting, um, what's it called? Interface. Good thing Ripburger didn't touch my bike. Lick the bike? For him. Good thing for him. I don't think, he won't lick it. I'm not putting my lips yeah. on that. Have I played the FF7 remake? Not really. I actually think it's a waste of time for me to play it's the FF7 it. remake. It's a game I've already there. played. I don't think the game would be any better unless, like, number one, it's not going to be any different because it's all the same plot. Open up. Now, you might be asking, well, we're playing this and it's a remake, but I never played the original of this. It's so fucking good, really? I don't know. I kind of thought Final Fantasy VII was kind of mediocre, like, slightly above average. It's different? How, well, I mean, I know they're not doing the turn-based combat and stuff like that, but the plot's gonna be roughly the same. They wouldn't dare change that. If they change that, then... Different plot? Oh, God. Was- is it more- is it gonna try to tie in more with Dirge of Cerberus or, um, Advent Children? That'd be the worst, actually. It's closed. Oh, it's closed, okay. I know Philippe's been playing it, he likes it. I just, and I know some guys at work that have been playing it. I just kind of hate Final Fantasy now. Keys. Like, Final Fantasy VII like was that. like when it started to get really bad. Like, when it really, when it got like really style over substance. <laughs> yeah, Mark Hamill's. Good thing Ripburger didn't touch my bike. Good thing for him. Ah, uh, you know what? Maybe, maybe I'm being too hard on Final Fantasy VII. I'm just tired of people telling me about the remake. Because I, I really hate the idea of a remake of it. Because I don't feel like it changes anything or makes the game that much better. <laughs> and it's not that I can't afford it. I could just go buy it and play it. But I just feel like it's like... Eh, it's a game I've already kind of beaten... And it's also like, it's like remaking a movie, in my mind. It's like, well, it's the same shit, right? So it's like, it just looks better, okay. So it's like the remake of Robocop, like the remake of other stuff. And I could go into the plot holes and stuff of Final Fantasy VII, but it's like, I, I, I'm, I'm... I'm almost done complaining about it, like, because it's like, number one, no, no one cares about my opinion about Final Fantasy VII. People, people love Final Fantasy. They'll always love Final Fantasy, no matter how many people like, you know, point out like, hey, you know, there's some glaring issues in this game, and it's like, eh. So it's like, ah, you know what, whatever. But we'll play Final Fantasy, enjoy it. Some I just, I just don't keys. care. <laughs> I, I played that game in 1997, or was it 98? No, I think it came out in 97. It was like, I thought it was alright. I thought it wasn't anywhere near as good as the game that came before it, but that game to get, like, no recognition or anything, almost. Open up. But Final Fantasy VII gets, like, three spin-offs, a movie, all this other shit, and it's just like, look, how much more can we get on this fact that, like, 
it's basically a rip off of Chrono Trigger's plot in a way, and like Akira. Not to mention, like, every secular character is kind of boring. Uh, you know, like, it's really just about Cloud, and Cloud himself is kind of dull. But again, I don't know. People like what they like. Alright, well, I'm stuck in the game. <laughs> Wait, if the bartender's in there. It's screwed shut. I prefer doors anyway. We'll kick the. Oh, wait, kick the door. There we go. I, uh, fixed your door. It was sticking. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. Oh, I can look at stuff? Alright. The monitor doesn't have any controls. So this is kind of like a... It, it's, it's the future, but, you know, it's like... That weird future where we put television sets... On the ceiling. At least we got flat panels, it looks like. The monitor doesn't have any controls. Is that a Those stuffed dog? Are good mounted on my handlebars. Nah. Man, I wish they had a jukebox. We'll play the piano then. Yeah, right. All right, fine. Kick the piano. Play. Oh, that worked. Holy crap. What's this? It's a big blobby gray shape. I was taking an art class. Wait, let me look at it from the original. Oh. You know, I almost kind of like the original art style. Look at that, though. You get to see... It's so... Man. They really referenced it quite a lot, huh? Alright. Let's talk to the bartender. Please don't kiss Looks him. Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang talk off with those... Those well-dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? Yeah, who knocked I me out? I know who knocked me out. Maybe you just passed out. You should learn to handle your liquor. I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna lick you. You know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. <clears throat> now don't mess around with me. All right. That's all why right. I don't get face piercings. I got your keys, but I don't get in a nothing. fight. That happens. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man. Here are your keys, all right? I got my keys back. Oh, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. But I was lazy. Good job there. But why ambush the pole gants? I'd better get moving. You ever see Airhead? That, that's how Chris Farley beats that one guy. Or was it a nipple ring? I forget. Hey, can I get a drink? No, not, not after that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, got I mean, after that, you don't really say anything. It'd be awkward to have a conversation. Get your motor running. When I'm on the road, I'm indestructible. No one can stop me. Unless a car hits me, then it's it kind of sucks. Or a semi truck. Oh, hey, wait, is this road rash? Oh, here we go. Hey, ain't you the A number one pole cat? How are we having you? this conversation driving a motorcycle? Yeah, then you're in my way. Well, get used to it, bud. When the rock wheelers hit the road, we own it. Look, I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the pole cats. Someone's ambushing the pole cats? Oh, heavens. 
Whatever will we do? <laughs> they both get pulled over for not wearing helmets. Come on, kitty. Let's get down. Oh, what? Oh, ah. Switch weapon. Okay, here, kick him. Don't give up now. Yeah, get out of here. This is the basis of all combat. Time to do a wheelie the whole way there. <laughs> oh, come on! You couldn't do the wrong shit! And then he died. The end. Yeah, yeah, it was like the Final Fantasy bike fight, huh? Oh, I'd love to make you just something like Oh my gosh, Cloud has a bike too! I forgot! Like, hey, how do we make this guy cool? Let's give him a big ass sword and a bike! Character design! Malcolm Cole is dying. Make him all brooding and shit! Oh, hey, we're here for Avalanche! Come on, Cloud! It's like, oh, I don't care, it's just job. I'm a, I'm Cloud, I'm so cool! Oh man, dress me up like a girl and, and get fucked by muscle men in a, in a sauna. Yeah, I'm Cloud, I'm awesome. Oh, did I say I was from this one town? I don't know. I, I might be a clone, I might not be. I'm Cloud. Man, this is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now, I have to get you some help, I suppose. Oh. I bet on chocobo what races, I'm Cloud. I okay, wait. I someone around here who can fix anything. <laughs> I gotta stop. I'm Cloud. My best friend is a big-titted woman what named Tifa. I'm a mechanic and a Does everyone squint in this game? Well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Oh yeah, I can squint harder than you. Maureen. You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike. They all have young bloods you disease. Bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. I need a little help getting it finished though. Who are you again? I, I was kind of spacing out. I was thinking about Final Fantasy. That is one big plug. Oh, hey. Hey, it changes the music, too. The music changes to the classic, like, bit music. Oh, she has tiny boobs now? Instead of the, <laughs> she used to have gigantic boobs. <laughs> they were gigantic. <laughs> like, they were... <laughs> <laughs> you remember? It's like it's like she wore like this really tight shirt with giant, and she had these huge ass boobs. Uh, compared to what they were, I guess. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's okay though. Cloud, uh, Cloud went out with Barrett at the. Uh, oh God, what the fuck is that place called? The Golden. The golden compass? I don't know, the golden... A golden marshmallow, whatever the fuck that place, Maureen. whatever. Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Alright, Mo. Where are the other stooges? Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. Is this an authorized Coley service center? You better not be giving me aftermarket parts. The golden saucer, that's what it is. <laughs> hey, I mean, what, what am I talking about? Final Fantasy VII is great. It gave us really diverse characters like Kate Sith. Oh man, everyone loves Kate Sith. <laughs> what, a, what a great character he was. This an authorized Coley service center. Now you could call this a Coley service center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah. Uh -huh. An illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. That was not enough Kate Sid. Oh, is that what his name? Kate She? There was not enough of him in, in Advent Children. That's my biggest complaint. There, luckily, though, luckily in Dirge of Cerberus, you get to play as Kate Sid. And that's, that's when the game really picks up, let me tell you. Actually, I don't even think you play as Kate Sid. You play as you play as the cat, not which I guess is Kate's. Wait, 
Because doesn't Kate said a combination of the cat and the mo and the giant Moogle? So like, isn't Sid the Moogle? It doesn't matter anyways. They're fucking robots, <laughs> controlled by a Shinra soldier, <laughs> remotely via like some kind of super Wi-Fi. Even though they don't have satellites and shit, they're just able to beam this one guy's personality <laughs> into a cat and a giant Moogle. How does he do that? I don't know. Fucking magic, whatever. Materia, what? Explain that. Limit breaks. Why? Yuffie's like a 16 year old ninja. I don't. She lives on an island. Is Vincent a vampire? I don't know. I grew up working on him with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hard tail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. That that sounds like something Kate Sid would do. <laughs> that's is that's probably why Tifa's boobs are so big. <laughs> oh my god, Barrett says shit. What a mature RPG. <laughs> you live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person. I'm just better with toasters. That's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. Yeah, what is wrong with you? How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. Mm -hmm. And someone stole my welding torch. Can Why? you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last that but not least, like a puzzle. I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. We live in the future and there's no gas? And that might actually be a thing. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? Where's the gas? Well, oh, at the gas a farm. Tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Where am I going to find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new, new, just not broken into little pieces. You mm, could stop junkyard. by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. Yeah. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. Do, do, do. Well, I can't get out of the town. I have I no don't money. Have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. Okay. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. You really like Getting toasters, huh? Your hog has really been a pleasure. Oh, well, thanks. Don't I like it when women handle my hog, if you know what I mean. Look, she only has one toaster, though, and what this seems like is like a boiler. Like, in the classic graphics, you don't even see the toaster. What the heck? You can see the little microwave under there or TV. I'm gonna, no, you know what? Microwave. I'm gonna go with that. Oh wait, there is a toaster, but you can't see it in the old school graphics either. It's hidden by the bike. You can see it here. There it is. Okay, two toasters. I counted two. And a microwave. I gotta get out of this town fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? There's gonna be a jailbreak. Tonight there's gonna be a jailbreak. Polecats. How'd you know that? It says they it on your jacket. The back yeah. of your jacket. They're headed for the so It's on your them. jacket. We better get back this bad boy jacket. back on the road then, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. But such a badass character. She's like, yeah, I'm the last of my kind. I'll be in the ending ominously looking over Midgard as it rots. Pretty much what I do. I'm. I'm Red 13. I live in a canyon. I'm the last of my kind, yet somehow I had offspring well, at the end. I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you, you know. You know, you know who the best character is? It's Sid, because he went into space. He's like, I want to go into space. Hey, look. Let's grab the hose. Yeah, I got a hose. What is this? Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. 
Oh yeah, one's Mark Hamill. <laughs> I don't think Mark... I, it's Conrad that plays the main character. Mark Hamill is obviously Mo. Sounds just like him. <laughs> Wish this gas can was full. Right, take the gas can. Alright, wait. Oh, I got inventory. Look out. You know, oh, good. You're they not were going to make a sequel to this, and it never came out. You know who the woman is? I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos, and you helped. Wait, what else did she do? A little dill. Oh my god! <laughs> Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the. Blood, I was almost gonna reference Rugrats, but I thought it was the um. Up like a pretzel. Oh god, one chick that came in late. She she played like she she's like the voice actress in like so many things, and I can't really think of anything. Already in Boulder. Okay. Ah, I see. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Ambush, you say? Where? I can't even do the reporter accent thing that she's going with. Um, I, I. Yeah. He can't this even is ask it. Me, I, I need. Come on, man. Yeah, Tara Strong. That's that's her name. Give me a ride in your car. I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm okay. He's in like a million things. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. All right, what's going on here? Hitched. So, uh, what year is this? Are the are there cities? You know what? I'm just gonna assume this takes place in the beneath the sky world, and this is like the um, the the waste or whatever. That's why everyone's kind of just like you know hanging out. Pretty small to be carrying me around. I rolled you. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Find us a ride yet? No. See, like, I I was gonna either play this, Day of the Tentacle, and like, Day of the Tentacle I find to be a little too difficult. Or, uh, the, uh, god damn, what's the pirate? Cutthroat Island, but I don't have Cutthroat Island on Steam. I just have Day of the Tentacle in this. And I always wanted to play this, like, because I remember seeing it in, um... I don't think it was PC Gamer. I think it was, like, Next Gen Magazine or something, which was also, like, a PC mag. And I was like, man, this game looks cool. I really want to play it. It's empty. Always switching back to the old school graphics, though. There we go. I think I'll do that with every scene. That way we get to see, like, how it used to look. Title of a hentai. It does, doesn't it? Look in the mailbox. It's empty. Oh, yeah, it's empty. Check the mailbox. I don't want to hurt Moe's mailbox. Monkey Island. Monkey Island. That's the one. Yeah, Cutthroat Island. Isn't that, like... Wasn't that a movie? It was also a video game, too, which I think was, like, a decent beat-em-up. But yeah, Monkey Island is the one. It's an SNES platformer and a movie. Ah, okay. Where's she going? Oh, she has a car! She might be working for the bad dudes, but then if that was the case, why save me? Thanks for the lift. Yeah. Now I got a quote for you. Walk down the street. Okay. So let's see what we got here. Oh, I can't, I can't highlight stuff here. So, okay, so there's that place. Let's get the gas. There's this trailer. There's Thunderdome. That runs Barter Town. You know that. Dude. That's not true. It's Blaster Master that runs Barter Town. Look how fast he walks here. Why can't you walk that fast when we're like in, in a scene? I know what you guys are saying. Like, can't we please just get beyond Thunderdome?
It's even sadder looking inside. Oh god, he's listening to real country music. You know, none of that crap you hear at the Country Music Awards. You know, that stuff. It's like, your dog just died. Your wife left you for another guy. You ran out of beer and your truck exploded. Oh, oh, you know, that kind of country music. Remember the movie Waiting? No, what was that movie? You know, you know oh, like that. That's holding this dump up. Where Dane Cook was the cook. What? <laughs> what do you say? Probably all that's holding okay. this dump up. What? What? Uh, you ever play San Andreas unless the country radio station? It's even sadder looking. <laughs> that's, the kind, that's the kind of stuff. Sometimes I do the semi truck missions in San Andreas and just listen to country music. K Rose, the only station. <laughs> With that Smells weird like DJ metal down there. A weird DJ that put her harmonica up her vagina. What's <laughs> going on? Oh my ex is movie, yeah. Flimsy looking. It's an old movie like 1998? No, I have no idea. Apparently this guy has a dog. Is that what this is? Kick no things. The is sandbox it? has been taken over by a big dog. All right, well, let's look at my inventory. Nothing that will help me with a dog. Oh, okay. You don't do it. Go lick this. All right, wait, wait. This worked once. Let's try it again. That's how he opens doors. I figured it out. Oh god. Oh, let's. I forgot to look at it in classic mode. Oh, there's no lyrics to the song in, in the classic version. Looks like a cabinet to me. What is that? It's a lockpick. Oh, well, that, that will probably come in handy. Anything else in here? Let me guess, this thing's it's locked. locked up with steel brackets. Brackets. A lockpick won't help there. Hmm. Oh, there is lyrics in the old one. Fair enough. It was a CD-ROM game. His decor has a strong carnival coin toss flavor to it. Wouldn't look good on my bike. I pictured him having a much larger fridge. Full of beers. It's either dog food or this guy's dinner. Grab the meat. Well, okay, so I think I used the meat. In like the junkyard, because I because I have played this a little bit before, you know, because there's like junkyard dogs. Spoilers. Because I got three things I need to get. I need Apparently, to get gas. This guy has a dog. I need to get forks. He's clearly down down there, but how do I get down there? Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very subcode wiring. Because he's got the welding torch. Smells like burning metal down there. I can't clog this up to like suffocate him. I keep forgetting I can interact with the kick. I didn't get him to stop. Take the chimney. No. Alright, go back in the door. Alright, so... Can't open this chest. It's locked up with steel brackets. Brackets. I did everything I could. I got a hose and a gas can. (laughs) 
Wait, I, I didn't look at it in classic mode. Oh, here we go. It's nice that you can just switch between them. Wait, does the light reflect off of him in classic? No, it doesn't. That's like, that's a newer one. Okay. I can go there. It's a junkyard. Entrance to this wire thing. Lick the wire. It comes out a hole in the bottom and goes over that pulley to the other side of the wall. Hmm. But as soon as you let it go, the, the door drops, right? What items? I got meat. Meat's not going to help in that. Lockpick's not going to help. That's all. All that's not going to help. Nah, not quick enough. But I need to lock that in place with something. Perhaps gum? <laughs> Alright, here's another place I can go to. Now this is a LucasArts game, right? So I don't think I can die or kill- or like, you know... There, there's no way that I can end the game. It's just that like, I, I have to solve the puzzles. Oh hey, they even made him dark in the original, that's cool. I bet that thing's full of gas. If only I could. That's what they say there. about you, Ben. The top of this fence is electrified. Okay, so we can't climb the fence. So there's like a little lock, huh? Okay, well that solved that puzzle. What's up, Malnir? I've always wanted to play this. Pro okay, so there's light here. What's that thing? How come that's clickable? Ah, get back here. Okay. Uh, classic mode. Have free to take. Oh, <laughs> that lock picking lawyer, you two. Do, do, do. Oh, hide behind the thingy. Hide behind the thingy. All right, now let's creep on people. No, it's Boss Hog. Uh, what we have here, Cletus? I don't know. I ain't where you. Hey, I don't see anybody. Maybe nobody's there. But who set off the alarm for it? Raccoon! Somebody's just fooling with us. Uh, you must have missed that last guy. Well, if you could hold this thing still while I'm shooting, I'm going down for a closer look. I don't see nobody. He must have run away. Yeah, we would have seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Let's go up and get him. That stairway sound effect. <laughs> it's like in everything. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> oh, it makes sense. It is LucasArts. All right, let's see. I don't trust anything without wheels. Yeah, they don't hover touch bikes. Without wheels. That's, oh, do you kick things without wheels? I don't wheels? touch anything without I see. wheels. Do you lick things without I'm wheels? I'm not putting my lips on that. Okay, so now I can go up the thing? I'm guessing now I can go up the thing. I can't miss with their their ride. Well, I can put meat in it. I don't think this will do oh, anything. Oh, won't help you. Can I combine oh, items? Won't no. Wish this gas can was full. Alright, well, let's go up the stairs. Don't or a ladder. So. What do you mean, don't think so? Don't think so. Yeah, I got no potatoes, though. That's what sucks. Yeah, okay, so he won't grab this. He... Which I don't want him to grab it. I want him to, like, sabotage it or something. Oh, 
A gas can won't help here. I can't. I can, hose I'm guessing flying here. vehicles don't use gas. A hose won't help here. Maybe they use some kind of battery or fusion or something. I don't know. Oh, look at it. I don't trust anything without wheels. Hmm. And he won't go up the ladder now. Don't think so. So there's a. There has to be a reason why you get this thing to come here and then hide behind the thing. I don't think meat's gonna help. A lockpick won't help there. Can't go up the ladder, can't mess with their car. Go hide behind this thing again, but I don't see the point of that. I feel like I gotta get them to land and then do something to their vehicle, but I don't have the item. Either that, or I get him to land here, and then I do something somewhere else. That's also like a possibility. Don't trust highlighted objects. You mean there's other things that I can highlight? <laughs> or other things I can interact with? This. When call when calling menu ah wait is there text no there's this X space cancel a gas can won't help here. There's a mailbox. Uh, let's see, I got the gas can. I'm assuming I need the gas can to do something in the, um, what's it called? To get, obviously, to put gas in it. I hate seeing her like this. Why? It's really my best side. <laughs> oh no, when you click on an object, you mean in the menu? There is no text in the menu. Put in my eye. Mm -hmm. This hole smells like gas. When calling menus, so when you click on all, so there are different areas? Wish this gas can was full. It's a lockpick. Ah. You can right, well, right click. Nope, that goes back there. So in the action menu? I tried a reaction on the car though. I tried kicking it. Like, cause there's these, there are basically four actions. Look. Mouth, hand, and foot. She's got her hands all over my bike. Jealous? Mo. Yeah, Ben? I'm having a little trouble finding stuff. What's the problem? Hmm. All right, so I know where her torch is. Forks are in the... Okay, I know where all that stuff is, so Never that's not mind. a problem. I'll figure it out myself. And whatever blows your hair back. Let me know if you need anything. Do, do, do. Alright, so it's getting started. Click in different areas on that vehicle near the tower. Alright, let me try that. Because I figure, like, what I have to do is I have to sabotage their vehicle so I can climb the tower. wonder if they're still there. If not, I can get them to land again. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, there's this lock. It's open. 
Time to lock your thing. Read the text below. Gas cap. Oh, I see. All right. Now we put the hose. Into the gas cap. Okay. Like Cheech and Chong here. No, damn it. Okay, I guess I gotta. <laughs> that there. Alright, and. No, not that. Hey, who's that down there in the yard? It's Sam. Get him. Where? Go get him. Where'd he go? Over there. Quick, <laughs> you go around the other side and we'll have the corner. <laughs> Where'd he go? He smells like gasoline Let's now. Board, no, let's call on reinforcements. Oh, but we're out of gas! Oh my god. I know, Rex. Right? <laughs> you think he would have. Uh, got more in his mouth than in the can. Oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? Oh, uh, yep, exactly. And once we get a welding torch and some new forks, I can fix her up. Oh, well, okay. Da, da, da. Okay, so those items aren't there. I got a lock now. I think I can put that lock on the chain in the junkyard. Take your time, Ben. Okay. Let's try some stuff out here, though. Because I feel like I can get in this. Like, I got all the items to get down there and get the welding torch. Jimmy. Sandbags. Can I talk to the skylight? I'm not putting my lips on that. Steel bars in the glass. Oh, it's glass. Why well, have a skylight then? I thought, well, I guess he has the chimney for ventilation. Grab the sand. No thanks. This sandbox has been taken over by a big dog. Well, you know what? I guess I could put the meat there. Let's see if it goes there. That's not one of meat's many uses. The many uses of meat. Okay, so clearly I gotta get down there. Got wires going down. Either that or I miss with the chimney. None of that's gonna mess with the chimney though. I mean, I mean, putting meat on it might work, but I doubt it. Answer your door! Oh my god, he answered his door. Okay, here we go. Who's out there? Hey! I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. I don't got time to waste on bums like you. Hey, you lousy nobody. Oh boy, who up the Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to do it, then kick the door down? Let's try that. Kick the door right in his face. Okay. Paid for it. What do you want? All right. Now I can have my way with him. <laughs> Lick him. I'm not putting my lips on that. This view defines true beauty. Doesn't it now? Almost brings a tear to my eye. Alright, pickpocket him. I think he's him. had enough. Kick him. I think he's had enough. Apparently. Alright. How do you use your elevator thingy? Or you just stand on it. Okay, well, that solved that problem. Oh, look at his art. He just, he just makes, like, um, what's it called? I guess it's folk art, huh? I nominate that as least defensive of show. Ouch. 
I don't collect art, and I also don't collect whatever that is. <laughs> There's a torch. I had a dog with a funnel on its head when I was a kid. Take it. I don't collect art, and I also don't collect whatever that is. Better hustle this back to Moe. Oh, we got the torch. <laughs> That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. Just a pair of new forks and we're on the road. I was like, oh, okay, well, let me go walk really slow over here. Dup dup dee dup doo 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 dee. Have I looked at this one in classic mode? Yeah, I have. Hey, the, the sky is animated in Quay. Whoa, 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 whoa. So in the HD remade, remade mode, the sky isn't animated, but in the classic one it is. What the heck? What the heck, man? I know, what a rip -off. You're gonna animate the sky. It's animated in the classic. Look, it's animated here. What other quarters did we cut? Todd's junkyard, okay. So I, I'm gonna assume I use the lock on the chain. That's not something I want to lock. Hmm. No wind. Yeah, wind doesn't exist in the remaster. Heavy looking. Because I, th I thought the lock would jam the chain. That's not something I want to lock. Still chain. Can't click on the crane. What about this hole? Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that a lock thing down here? Yep, okay. Well, I don't know why that would work, but let's see. See what happens. Oh, he can climb the chain. Okay. Because the chain's stuck in place. Ah, okay, fair enough. Ah, uh, junk. Yeah, lots of it. Look at that. Oh, look, the sky moves in the here, too. Yeah, we got junk and junk. Save. Ah! I didn't want him to just go down there. Ooh, fire damage. Forget about it. I just saved. It auto-saved. Oh, this screen scrolls? It's neat. Look the car. I gotta find forks, though. Hey, can I put the meat in the car? Dog jumps in car, eats meat, jumps out, kills me. Okay, alright. I, I get that logic. Just the kind of forks I need, right on top. What do I do with the meat, though? How am I supposed to... Hey, hey puppy, want some meat? Ah, dangle my meat for you! Down. He's barking out bolts. There he goes. Hmm. So we gotta deal with the dog. I have meat! Meat must be used as a distraction. That is the classic dog distraction. Woo! Cars. No thank you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Was this another exit? Look at the classic. Oh, look at that. It's a little more obvious. All right, I'm in the crane. Time to kill dog with car. What can I? I got buttons. What's this button do? I, I can press. Oh. Okay, so remove the levers. I trying to trap the dog or kill him? <laughs> Because he can jump up on the car. See, there's... Uh, maybe I can trap him here by doing, like, two cars? Please don't kill the dog. <laughs> That might be what I gotta do! <laughs> Wait. No, that's not the one. I wanted to go left. Oh, the... he move? He moves down there. I, it would take four cars to trap him. My question is, though, is this gap, is that too much of a gap? Yeah, like, I'm one car short, too, so the trapping method... He's able to jump on a car. Can I, can I carry two cars at once? I don't think I can, that'd be weird. Yeah, no, it's just one car at a time. Say your prayers, dog! Oh. Maybe I can put the meat in the car now? Now that I know about the crane? Either that or... Nah, getting him in the corner might... Because he goes up here, right? Yeah, up there, like, th like, that would work, right? Like, three cars?
Put the meat in one of the cars. Oh, okay. Would have let me put the meat in the car last time. Wait, now I got a car in the crane? Yeah, it looks like there's a car in the crane. Can I interact with that? Probably not. Dog jumps in car, hmm. eats meat, jumps out. Oh wait, do me. I put the meat while I'm in the crane area? Oh wait, no, there's two arrows. Oh. Um. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. All right, so I gotta go. I gotta put a car close to where the camera is. Put the meat in it. Down. That one ill-tempered mongrel. <laughs> you would have something to do with meat. Also, I was like, man, if that's how the puzzle's done, trapping him, that would that was gonna be kind of annoying. I want the screen scroll. Guess I gotta gotta do that first, then okay. See, like when 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 it's not animated like the sky, it just looks like clouds, but when it's animated it looks like pollution. Close as I can get the car. Okay, so maybe I'll be able to put the meat in that. I still might have to time it though. Well, I can just walk right towards the camera. Maybe I can put the meat here. Let's try that. God damn it! Ah! You can't skip it either. You have to watch the whole thing. Down. At least he has multiple things to say. Who needs dogs? Let's look at it from this point of view now. Why does he go over there? I don't even click over there. Is there a specific car I'm supposed to put the meat in? Like, in one of the cars, remember to get into the crane in the upper right corner and lift up the car the dog is jumping around in. Fair enough. All right, let's see. No, I don't want to go there. I want to go up the crane. Yes. This one down. Either that or maybe I'm supposed to make a wall for the car. Alright, okay, yeah, there we go. 
Well, that one's closer now, so now I can probably get that. The brown one to the far left. Since this is closer, because he goes all the way around to jump down. I'm guessing just that one. That one's like the closest one. So let's try that. I can walk all the way around. This sound effect too, like this is from Resident Evil as well. Or also in Resident Evil. They must use like they must have gotten all the sound effects from some like. Here, poochie pooch. All right, pooch. there we go. Perfect. Bon appetit. Mother. Now he's in the car. Now all I gotta do is activate the crane, and then he's stuck in the car. And then I'll just go get the fork tuners. Is he, it, you can't just put the meat in the car because then he'll just jump out and get you. But if he's stuck in the air, then he can't get you. Alright, see, now we don't have to worry about him anymore. Now he's... Now we can just go get the fork... Forks. Oh, you can go down from this area? Oh my goodness. Thank you, newbie. Better than trying to kill the dog. Parts pile, here we go. <clears throat> All right, bike's fixed. Nice forks. Where'd you find them? Right Interesting the way this game does its puzzles. Well, that's it. Wait outside for a minute now. Because it's not just up. find an I item and use an surprise. item. You have three different interactions you can do with I items. I hate surprises. All right, or four, here actually. She comes. But I wouldn't recommend talking to an item. Da -da -da -da. Am I cool or what? Very classic thing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? Oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Only the vultures. Now, are you gonna try this Off-world, fighting the Zerg can have that. Ooh, I wish I had a camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. But I don't. Just beat it, will ya? <laughs> You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. And I burned down Mo's place. You can squint even more than you're already squinting. Hey, how, what does this look like back in the day? Oh, we didn't have the 3D. Okay. There, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that looks cool, actually. All right, look lively. He's a sneaky one. This time he ain't getting past us. See him? No. Keep looking. Look lively. Um. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, apparently, there's lots of cops flying around, so you can't really do anything. I guess I live here now. Well, the other thing... Well, let's talk to Mo. Maybe Mo has an idea. Yeah. Or I can go... I've already said my goodbyes. Fair enough. Alright, let's go activate. Let's get him to go over here. Oh. He has to get off his bike. He can't just ride over there. <laughs> All the way over. Activate that alarm. You hear that? He's 
back at the gas tower. He's got a lot of nerve, that piece of trash. Let's get him. All units, follow me. Okay, I don't have to do anything at all. He automatically went back to the bike. Sir, maybe we should split up. No, no, we all, we have to hunt as a pack. This place looks neat. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corlin's making oh, look, it's style. animated again. It's a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. We are trouble, man. Put my head in a basket, cause I'd had a tank full when she there blew goes. my gasket. Hey, this had pretty good I animations for back in the day, too, huh? Till I head for the skies up above. It's a woman with wheels that I love. Come on, old man. I gotcha. Come on, old man, whip it out! Do something cool Magazines will pay hundreds of dollars to see this. I have a plot thickens. Oh my god, you murdered an old man! You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Uh-oh. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. I'll get her. No. Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm. How about one for the road? You think she Corley. took the film? Corley. Ben! <coughs> I guess Rip Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his fly's down. Can you zip me up there, Ben? <coughs> Don't let me die with my fly Rip down. Rip did this to you. Yeah, he knew I was dying. Ben, I, well, you think the sky's animated? Oh my god, it is! He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. Minivans?! Minivans! Oh my oh. god! <laughs> You gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Oh, promise me, I'll fuck him, up. him bad. I promise. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah, and she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt her first carburetor when she was four. She's yeah, got the I touch. Used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Marine. Marine? I only know one Marine, so that must be the same one. Oh, I see. I saw it through the toaster. Dead. Rip Berger's way ahead of me. I just hope Maureen can handle herself until I get there. Toaster saved her life. Gun, I understand. But a camera. A camera. That sick bastard. What does this guy work for? Holy motors. They finally wanted to get rid of her for having that Nestor. unofficial that moving over there by that pile. <laughs> I don't know. Repair it, station. But I think that pile is bonus. <sighs> she took the film. Yes. Now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? There's Mo's shack, but I don't see the limo. Maybe I beat the Maurice. Second thought, maybe I didn't. Hmm. Maybe I should just leave. Just cut my losses. Debris. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. This place is messed up enough. 
Okay, so we check the debris. Can't pick up the camera. Nope. I have this picture. Here's Moe's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed. So that's where we gotta go, her. obviously, that's is the mink ranch. Only lead right now. I remember reviews for this game said it was pretty good, but there's one annoying part involving like holes in the ground or something. Or a minefield or whatever, I don't know. Oh, there's nothing in here. At all. Music's nice, though. Oh, off to the meat farm. Unless there's something in the mailbox, let's see. She had the film in the mailbox, and that'd be really stupid. It's empty. Go through all this trouble to do an HD remake, and you don't animate the skies. Like, come on, how how do you let that pass? How? I, I can't get over that. Like, that's just amazing. Look, look at how pixelated he looks there. Okay. Any other exits? There's that exit. How am I supposed to get to this mink ranch? I guess maybe I ask around and it opens up. Let's find out. Hey, yeah, remember me? I, I, uh, I kind of physically threatened you. Hey, killer. What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? Oh, I guess I've been rules. framed. Once again, our top story tonight. Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Melonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck, savagely and without mercy. Police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polecats. No. No, but not the Polecats. leader who is still at large. Roadblocks have been set up along Highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Roadblocks suck. I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. All right. Well, first I'm gonna rob you. Give me the cash register. Yeah, give me all the money in it. Nothing to grab. It's empty. Oh damn. Uh, it's, I'm kind of sad now. <laughs> I'll just take a bottle. You can't. Got a ride. Oh, even he's got like he. And he doesn't drink and drive. All right. Well, I guess. I mean, there's this obvious guy. He seems like a nice fellow. Look. Let me tell you what happened. I told you, I don't want to get involved. Well, the roadblocks, huh? Maybe this guy knows how to get around roadblocks? I can do that. I can do that nine times. I can do that. Not gonna happen. Oh, come on! Let me get, let me do it with your knife. Give me your knife! I want to do that. He's not very good at it, though. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention nicks and scratches. <laughs> Am I distracting you? <laughs> that face. That face was like a <laughs> twitchy. <sighs> I just killed a guy. <laughs> That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers? They turned me around, said police business only. Pigs. I know, right? Damn pigs. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Look, I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? 
Because you're afraid of some cops? What are no, you? Because I don't oh. like you. Well, the only other option is I just killed a guy. I just killed a guy. I'm just about to. Ah. I don't think that's good for the table. Hey, Quahog. Yeah, Emmett? I'm gonna be knifing up your table for a while, all right? The customer with the knife is always right. Got a point there. Think that glass is clean enough there? Good talking to you. You only put the knife down I once. Hope you get in here. Em, it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole, Quoho. So I'm gonna assume I need to get the knife. I don't know why I need to get the knife. This isn't Ghost and Goblins. Let's go mess with this truck. What we got? Yeah, that's pretty much it, huh? This Interesting looking truck. Mine. Here, I'll use the photo on the truck. That should help jumpstart it. Look, I really need a ride. Look, I really need a ride. Look, I really need a ride. <laughs> you can't talk to trucks, Ben. They're not sentient. It's semi. That's pretty much all I can do with it. Wait, there was another arrow. Oh, it's pretty much the same thing. Members of the Polecat Gang are in custody, but their leader remains at large. Authorities have issued an all-points bulletin. They got the Polecats. Hey, you know who this pink guy is? I need to is? get to this place. Uncle Beats Mink Ranch. I need to go in that direction too, but the pigs are running the sty at night. How poetic. So do I just go and activate the gas thing again? He's got a knife. Oh, yeah, that's, that's definitely, yep. Yeah. We got roadblocks. Well, I can try the gas thing again. I mean, why not, right? Like, that's always funny. Either that or I go over here and see what's going on at the... at the stop. They put a new lock on it. Don't think so. What? Don't think so. Oh, well, there went that plan. Hey, maybe that guy knocked out in the trailer. I can talk to him. Let's see. So, let's... My problem right now is that I need to get to the Mink Ranch, yet the roads are blocked. I don't know why the trucker would help me out with that. Oh, this guy's still knocked out, isn't he? Man. Actually, he's not even breathing. I think Ben killed him. Well, that's fine. I don't think the world will mess him except those who are really into folk art. Welding metal folk art. That almost anyone with a welder can do, so... Holy crap! Did a UFO land? What's going on over there? So much for returning to the scene of the crime. They'll be coming this way soon. I gotta get a plan. Fast. What's that look like? Oh, it's... okay. In the animated sky. Look, we don't have to drive all the way to the center of the town just so I can drive to that one place. What town? What am I talking about? It's like four places. <laughs> this is not really a town more of a general junkyard. Hey, 
can't go there, can't go there. Nothing else to really click on. Did everything I could with the truck. I don't have any items other than that picture. I, I, well, I haven't showed the picture of the bartender, so let's try that out, huh? Look at this photograph! Ever hear of this place? Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch. Well, uh, I remember there used to be some sort of weasel plantation or, or something up the road. Down Highway 9 on the other side of them damn roadblocks. I used to pick up mink meat there real cheap and sell it to school lunch programs. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> that was a good scam. What what is this? What is this show? The monitor doesn't have any controls. Oh. Beat up the bartender again. Look, let me tell you what oh. happened. I told you I don't want to get involved. Kick this guy. He's got a knife. It's true. Guess we take the knife away from him? Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Good talking to you. This is like a timing thing, which if that's the case, that's annoying. Oh, I already showed him the picture. I need to get to this place, Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch. I need to go in that direction too, but the pigs are running the sty at night. How poetic. And I can't even talk to this guy, so he has no options. Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you I don't want to get involved. No. He doesn't look happy. Well, maybe I get the meat in the junkyard and give it to him again? It's like, that'll make him happy? I don't know. Click on Emmett. Other stuff. Now let's kick this piano again. Play. Yeah, right. Got no home to hang it in. Those might look good mounted on my handlebars. Nah. Got no home to hang it in. The monitor doesn't have any controls. Well, the monitors have controls. Hmm. It's empty. Don't get any ideas. Ah, booze. Booze. Okay, so... Got a picture. Well, it's gonna be interacted here. I've used every dialogue option with this guy. He's got a knife. Pick finger until we actually... No. So that means I gotta get something from Miranda. And I can't play the pick a finger game with him right now. There's something in town. And I've been to the trailer. Oh wait, I can go behind the bar? Okay. See, that, that, that's the one thing I, I, I think I can kind of complain about is that it's not very clear where the exits are to get into the other screens. You know, because I assume that other arrow was just going into the bar again, but, you know, there were two arrows. Though, to be fair, I guess I should have known I could go to the dumpster because of the... I've been there before, but yeah, there's this arrow and then there's this arrow. Hey! Alright, so that's pretty obvious. 
I just didn't know this place existed. I'm not, I don't talk to dumpsters. Ben, no time to talk. You know, it's stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta help me. Go <laughs> find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? Of me yeah, killing Corley? Yeah, but some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures? Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They kill me! Get my editor! He's gotta get me out of this! Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks! Alright, okay, so... My she career bunch, is huh? riding on those pictures! Help me, Ben! You're my only hope! Help me, Obi Ben oh, Kenobi. Don't worry. I owe you one. If Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place, that could be Miranda's camera I saw there. But then, who's got the film? Doo, doo, doo. Oh, I did get the New Hope achievement. For well, the Star Wars reference, of course. She has such a... <laughs> Alright. Got this. Here. What's that? Fake federal investigator ID. Could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Hmm. So how about a ride? What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. Don't smoke this cigarette with the... I guess the fertilizer is not flammable by a cigarette, so... Oh, great. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles be on this point. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. What's in the back? Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you rude get your man. <laughs> Is the sky animated here? No. Okay, good. <laughs> I had to check. Yeah. <laughs> Loose holes and nothing big. I, I already pulled your bike out. It's sitting right over there. Well, nice knowing you. Gotta hit the road, you know. So he nicked my fuel cord, huh? Uncle Pete's mink ranch. Okay. Uh oh. He did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to fix it. That trucker's gonna die for what he yeah, did. Wow! <laughs> yep. Okay, so we're out in the country now. There's none of that, like... Doop -doop -doop. Yeah, let's go in here. That's why we came here. To lift the door. See, it doesn't highlight the exits. It highlights objects I can, I can interact with. What's up, Nipple Jesus? How you doing? So I do have to pixel hunt a little bit. Which is kind of annoying. Let's go inside the Uncle Pete's Meat Ranch. Take your time, Ben. Take your time. Oh, I can just double click? I can double click this whole time? Looks like a mink pelt. There's a picture of Maureen and Malcolm. Looks like they're restoring an old hardtail together. Biking in the park? Oh, that's cool. What's this? Banner. That's the insignia of the vultures. 
I can't believe Mo used to be a vulture. But then again, how else could she have gotten that recoil booster? Mm-hmm. Used to serve against the big... With the Terrans in the big Zerg war. Hmm. Ah. Tire iron. That's something I can lick. Yeah, I took the tire iron. Tough looking padlock. Here, we'll hit it with a tire iron. Ah, uh, junk. And a hose I can use on my bike. I don't think Mo would mind if I borrow him. Mo? I guess we gotta chase her down. Let me fix my bike immediately. Alright, did it. There we go. So, so Mo is a biker. Every time I, I drove to work and stuff, I always saw people like walking or like, you know, riding bicycles and stuff. Oh, damn. She took my booster fuel. Uh, Everyone keeps taking stuff something? from me! She must think the whole world's against her. I think I know how that feels. Really? We, we can't outrun this semi-truck? He has an Imperial tattoo! That sign. That means I'm in. Oh King no, it's Vulture. Oh, cave fish territory, okay. And they wear goggles? Lone bike, no threat. Cave fish. Are they mole people? That's what you get for being an Imperial! Oh, he ditches his cargo immediately. <laughs> oh, the bridge! Come on, you guys could have blown his ass up somewhere else! This cargo is worthless. We have been tricked, my brothers. Back to the cave. Hmm. The place looks deserted. Maybe the boss was wrong and she ain't coming here. She's coming. We just got here first. That means all we have to do is sit here and wait. Let's check the skies. Okay, not enemy. All right, well, let's look at the stuff that got dumped. What a stinking mess. Time to lick it. I'm not putting my lips on that. Okay. Maybe I'll just take a little. How do you take for... Okay, so he's got, like, goop. The semi-trailer. Looks like him had dropped a load here. I fix it by doing that. Wow, you gotta go all the way around to kick it? What the hell is he doing? All right, well, back on the bike, I guess. <laughs> he went all the way into the background. I got a tire iron, I got feces. Ah, 
Okay, so here's what I think I need to do. I need to fix the bridge using the feces and the tire iron. Oh, I can I can control the bike. Take exit. Oh, damn it! Oh, how do I take the exit? Ah, uh, oh, there are two exits. Son of a bitch. Alright, let's jump this bridge! Woo! Oh. <laughs> Evil Knievel? What is this like that, that, uh, gorge in, in South Park? I mean, not South, Simpsons? Or Bart tries to jump Lane's experimental flying suit. One of the gorge's many casualties. So everyone's tried to jump this? Ricky Myron's infamous gorge jump. This is the last picture ever taken of Professor Schmetterling. Oh, in his flying suit? Notice, jumping the Poyahoga Gorge, although tempting, is highly illegal and dangerous. We recommend the recently constructed Boyahoga Gorge Bridge for transgorge travel. Drive safely. Tightrope walkers, hang gliders, human cannonballs. Many have tried to cross the mighty Boyahoga Gorge, and many have failed. Except for Ricky Myron, the flying torch, who jumped the gorge on a stock Corley motorcycle. Stock. It was later uncovered that he had modified his Corley with a pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster and an automotive hover lift. Myron said he would gladly replicate the jump to clear his name, but his special ramp was stolen by a mysterious truck hijacking motorcycle gang. Hmm. Recoil booster and a hover lift. Okay. Eh? Thanks for the tip, Rick. You're right though. I'll need that ramp. Is the ramp also the hover lift? Is that what that is? Go over here and look at the gorge. What's he got that I ain't got? Except for a recoil booster, a hover lift, and a silly looking ramp with dayglow flames painted on it. Something tells me the bridge is out. There was an arrow here. Not on foot. Just numbers? Okay. Wait, what do you mean not on foot? I gotta go on my bike, All right? Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do now is like, I gotta get three items to cross the bridge. What's he got that I ain't got? Except for a recoil booster, a hover lift, and uh, a silly looking So there is nothing over there to the right? Okay. Do, do, do. There were like three exits. Father Torque. It's Father Torque. What? I haven't seen you since you retired from the Polecats. Hey, Ben. How's my gang doing? Uh, that's a long story. Here, let's talk while we ride down with these big motors and everything. Somehow we're just able to have a conversation. What are you doing out here? Well, retirement's pretty boring, Ben. So I thought I'd come out to the old mine road and look for trouble. You're picking fights? That's what the old mine road's for, son. Father Tork, I need your help. The gang's in jail and the law. Ben, I'm not the leader of the Polecats anymore. You are. Can't you see I'm on permanent vacation? <laughs> Any fighting tips, Tork? Ah, Ben, who's tougher than you? Nobody, but those rod wheelers are uglier. They're none too bright either. I'm sure you can handle them.
The vultures are quick, and they're nuts. The ones with those boosters are hard to whip. Just remember, Ben, it's not about muscle, it's about timing. What's up with those cavefish, man? Watch out, Ben. They're not out here for sport. They hijack big rigs. It's part of their religion. Don't what? get in their way. They're blind, cold-hearted killers. Religion? How do the cavefish ride if they're blind? They got goggles. Well, they're only blind because they wear those special goggles to shield their sensitive cave. Oh my god, they are mole people. Special sensors in the goggles pick up the dots in the road and other large objects and landmarks to help them navigate. It kind of trippy, huh? I guess I can mess with the goggles then. You know any way around Boyahoga Gorge? Around it? <laughs> it's Heck, miles, I made and miles it. long, man. What's the matter? Don't like bridges? It blew up. Ooh, sorry I missed that. Well, you could jump it, like Ricky Myron. Cape fish got its ramp in their hideout, you know. Where is the cave fish hideout exactly? Somewhere on this road. The entrance is totally invisible unless you got those weird Damn. cave fish specs. I, I need to get my eyes on that. Can't though. talk anymore, Ben. Eating too many bugs. Well, take it easy, Father. Give him hell, Pokat. What did this look like in the old game? Oh, okay. Oh, there were like pre-rendered backgrounds. I couldn't take that left. Who's this guy? Oh, I gotta fight him. Hey, no, this is Mo. Well, learn to ride, kid. Here, here's some poop. Take the poop in your face. Oh, oh I got him. Hey, look at this. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, whoa. I beat up a woman on the road! I'm such a man! Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get <laughs> some feces in her face. Woo! <laughs> oh, I'm back here again. Okay. <laughs> why did I do I don't know why I did that. I just did it. You can do it. Okay, so what I'm assuming I need to do is um, find find one of those cave guys and beat him up. Like a random encounter. Okay, here's this guy. Highway 9 exit. Hey, what's up? I see you come for it. Let's here's some poop fight. in your face! Yeah, and I'll beat you with a yeah, tire iron! Here we go! There's no skill involved in this at all. <laughs> I just walk up to him. Oh god. Damn it. It's fine. You just get back on the bike. Da 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 D. Nine. Exit nine. Alright, so the mine road just is kind of a circle, huh? Shouldn't hit a man wearing glasses. The crowd in the show of fate. Aggressive little war, ain't ya? I like how this is a gameplay mechanic. I don't know. I don't know the intricacies of bike combat in this game. You think you think I you just wail on him, huh? It's whatever. Say there, is that a pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster you have there? Why, yes it is. Ta-ta! <coughs> I can't even fight those guys. They, they could just, like, drive away. But bounce on these bouncy things. Oh, this is something. What is this? Oh, here. Yeah, this is what I need to deal with. Hey! Goggles! Ah! Ow. 
feel like I'm missing something. Let's take this exit. All the other roads just lead to the mine road. And what, so I can get more poop? No, I got plenty of that. Maybe go back to the, um, back here? <laughs> Look at him run. Okay, so going back there didn't help. Not crash on a turn. Okay. So I just gotta beat people up in the mine. All right. Okay, fish. Oh, okay. So, so there is bike, so like the bike combat is kind of important then, huh? You like choppers, huh? Oh, you got a chainsaw? How about, oh, How about yeah. I hit you in the face with this? Oh, fuck. I hit her in the face with the tire iron. She didn't even flinch. The hell? Fish have a specific because they keep staring at the ground when you come across such a guy. Be sure to keep your distance as long as he remains in this position because he will spill oil on the street and lose control. Okay. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, this bike combat sucks. <laughs> like, it's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, maybe I just don't get the intricacies of it. I mean, I beat this woman up. <laughs> <laughs> There's this guy, he's too fast, I can't catch up with him. Gotta run. Yeah, he gets out of the way as soon as that happens, so. Is it the same guy? Oh, he's got a chain. Why does I just do this? Oh, fuck. Yeah, this sucks. <laughs> what, 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 what's his name? Tim Schafer? What the fuck were you thinking with this bike combat? The point and click game, for God's sakes. You give me this, like, janky ass bike combat that, like, doesn't make any sense.
Oh, I need to get the Mohawk woman first? Okay, well, considering it's random. You really should get one of these booster deals. I just wait around until I get her, I guess. It's not like I can control the speed of the bike or anything, as far as I know. Nope, not really. I can make it go left and right. Okay, there's Mohawk Girl. So just throw... What? What? What did I... I didn't even hit anything! The fuck's going on now? I guess... I guess... Aw, oh, man. And bald guy, huh? Okay. Hey, bald guy. What's up? What are you doing? You like that? You like that fist in your face? Yeah, that's my fastest attack. Ah! Uh, oh no! Oh no! This was a very ill-advised action sequence you put in your game. Someone should have slapped you in the face with a 2x4 and said, Look, man! What the fuck? But Road Rash, this is not, okay? Like, like this is just literally kind of like luck-based. And just, it's flimsy as shit. I just wander around waiting for a certain person to show up. Hey, this guy's got a rebel tattoo on his forehead. Alright, <laughs> right, like my fist in your face? That's what happens when you get a face tattoo, it's like a target. Now I'm mad. Alright, I got I got a skull with spikes on it. <laughs> Let's see how this thing works. Oh, it's pretty nice. <laughs> it just assault people. Doop -doo -doo. Uh, okay, there's the Mohawk chick, finally. Finally, so I just throw fertilizer at her, huh? Hey! Hey. Yeah, here. Let's chop it down and catch a Fuck! Fuck it all while it takes me to show up! Yeah, that woman gets fucked up there. God damn it, now I gotta drive her around and wait for her to show up again. <laughs> she, she's just going for a ride and then I just show up just... I can I can spam attack better than you can. Alright, I got a two by four, look out! Doesn't beat the spike thingy I got though. Oh, here's one of those, uh, mole men. Hey! Oh, I can't reach him! Oh, oh, oh. oh, maybe I should wear a helmet. Nah, fuck that. That's for pussies. I'm gonna drive around on my bike and beat people up. Ah, uh, another random guy I don't need to beat up, but okay. Oh, no, wait, this is the dude. Oh, I'm supposed to use the plank on him? Okay. Hey. Sure. I know you're gonna run you away, but I'm gonna throw some poop in your face. You like that? Yeah, that's Gotta right. Run. <laughs> I'm a delinquent, man. Alright, I'll use the plank on those guys then. See how that works. Really getting... Really understanding the rock, paper, scissors combat of... of... <laughs> full throttle. Oh good, another random ball guy. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> oh my god. Okay, there she is. Alright, good. Uh, I'm getting that chainsaw down. So I just throw poop in her face, right? That's all I gotta do? Hey! Hey, you ready for this? Let's chop you down and catch a ring! Woo! Ruby. All right, so now I need to find a mole man. Okay, there's a mole man. All right. Hey, what's up? You like planks? Ah, oh, you fucker! Fuck. <laughs> Oh, the, the chainsaw? Yeah, I figured the chainsaw is what I do against uh, the booster dude. Hey! Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Ah! Nitro or do you mean the, the chain with the skull? <laughs> Dale, Dale has the perfect way of fighting. Alright, now this, this is annoying because I gotta avoid his stupid... His, uh, his oil slick move. Oh, all right, finally. Get his goggles, yes! All right, I have the goggles. That means I can go check out their secret hideout. Chain with the skull, okay. Well, why not the chainsaw? You think the chainsaw would really fuck him up? I guess you need the chainsaw to get the skull thing, but I just punched the guy in the face a bunch of times. Equip goggles, oh. Yeah, now I'm really cool. Alright, hold on. I, I want to beat up that dude. Damn it! Driving around randomly. I want to beat up the guy with the booster. Hey, you ever see Scarface? Yeah, I'm mad. I got the chain! Wait, you mean the chain or...? Because now, now I have three weapons that can be described as the chain. What's up, cowboy? How you doing? Or Vash? <laughs> Wait, I got the cow... Yeah, I haven't really been streaming that much, so I'm trying to stream more and more. <laughs> oh man, you know, you know it would be a better weapon though, a shotgun or any kind of gun, really. It's Tommy? Wait, you mean Tommy from Arcade UFO Tommy? Wait, let me get this guy here. Or this chain. Is it this chain? Oh god, I got him! That should have a couple of good. Oh, Tommy Fox, too. okay. Right, I got the boost. Now I gotta do is find the secret base by equipping the goggles. Or do I have to go on the highway to find it? You think it'd be in the mine road for the Mole Man's secret exit? Hans Mole Man. Hans Mole Man gets hit in the balls with the football. <laughs> uh, Hans Mole Man Productions presents.
I'm not seeing this secret exit that only I can see with Z goggles. It's almost like Z goggles, they do nothing. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's the exit. Damn it. Let me guess, I can't, uh, no, I can't equip the goggles when I'm here. Oh, my groin. <laughs> Hey, remember when Hans Molman went out with uh, one of Marge's sisters? I forget which one, since they kind of blend together. All right, back back to the goggles. I mean, I didn't see any secret exit. I I felt like I did the loop right. What does this look like with the old school graphics? Oh, it looks way better. So they use like pre-rendered graphics for the driving scene, so. Or it doesn't look better, but I can make I can make out things better. I think the road texture looks better. It, it's definitely like it's much easier to like see things with the old textures. I kind of like this older look a little bit better. This one's like everything's kind of the same color, or is this one like the sky is more red? So now it makes a little bit more sense why they added this motorcycle driving fighting stuff in the original game. My guess was th this was LucasArts, right? So this was back when they were doing Rebel Assault, when they were doing a lot of. Um, cable up here okay but yeah like so rebel assault and stuff use pre-rendered backgrounds and you'd have like um you know something flying or whatever you know like an x-wing or something like that or like your character so i'm guessing they use the same tech for this game and that's why they added the driving stuff because it was like really cool looking oh shit Uh, there's something really retro about those textures on the wall, man. Yeah, I almost kind of like the way it looks here better. Right, let's put on the goggles. And then again, part like part of me is kind of nostalgic for these older graphics too. But it looks more like, like I don't know. There's something about the way it looks here compared to like the way it looks here. In like the the remake. And here it looks like I'm playing an old Sega CD game. Okay, there it is. Shit. Oh, look at that. But then again, I also like the new backgrounds too. So it's kind of a it's tough to say really which one I prefer. So is this screen pointless? I guess it's pointless. Oh look, look, we got animated animated water off of the stalactites, but not in the HD. What the fuck, HD remake version? Like, why do we have more details in the older? You know what, I'm playing it like this. Fuck it. That's right, we're gonna play it with the old school graphics because apparently someone decided to half-ass the HD version and not put in like the little details. We can hear a water drip, but yet there's no water dripping in this version. Boy, they got some underground society. 
Though what sucks though is I'm always gonna keep switching between them because there's like little details. See like, the HD version does have the flame on the side of the ramp. I don't know if it has that laser light show thing going on though. Doesn't look like it does. Oh, it does, okay. Why well, have some details and not, oh, I, it's confusing, man. That's what it is, it's just confusing. I don't know, what do you guys prefer? The HD version or the old school graphics? It's not like StarCraft Remastered where it's like basically all the effects are there in the remastered version. We're not missing anything. But here it seems like every now and then I miss at like some things aren't animated that should be animated. That's kind of annoying. Not the biggest difference, but it's kind of like, you know, they both, yeah, they, they both kind of work. Also, this stalagmite looks like a penis, but then again, they always do, don't they? Do they? Does it look like a penis? Oh, it looks even more penis-y in the classic. Hmm. Though, in, in the classic, I can't do the highlight thing. I, I just wish the HD version... That's true, I do have to go to the grocery store. It opened about 20 minutes ago. But I'm on a roll! Property of the Ricky Myron Traveling Stunt Actually, no, I should go do that. Uh, I do want to play more games, though, but I don't know, like... I played StarCraft. I wanted to play some Super Nintendo. As well. But I do need to eat, because there's no food now. In the fridge. <laughs> there's a... There's a Pop-Tart. I can eat that? <laughs> a bowl of cereal? I said I don't think I have any milk for the cereal, so it's like, yeah. Hmm. I guess I can end it here. And pick up later. Is that just eggs in a jar? Oh, we're 45% done, really? To be fair though, I did get I did get some hints. Man, I almost feel like I could just beat the game then if we're for this is 45% though I I do remember reviews saying that like the last part of the game was like Kind of silly Hey look, this is that chick that I beat up on the road a lot, isn't it? <coughs> All right, but yeah, I gotta go to the grocery store. Um I'm I don't think I'll be streaming when I get back. I might stream before I go to work tonight. Either more of this or Super Nintendo. I wanted to play some Super Nintendo games, but I couldn't really... I got the hiccups now. <gasps> I couldn't really think about which games I wanted to play on it. Uh, like, like you know, there's Zelda, and I can always practice Contra. I want to beat Super Ghouls. Oh my god. It's hard to talk when you have hiccups. <gasps> and I have no more water. All right, we'll just we'll just end the stream. But thanks everyone for joining me. Thanks Noofy. Thanks Nipple Jesus. Thanks Ball Busting Bay. Thanks Bash. Uh, never conquer anyone. Oh my God, anyone else who was here? I'll catch you guys next time. Hopefully, if I get enough sleep and wake up before work, I got three days off coming up, so I'll do some streaming then. Um, I'll try not to just stream in just the morning. I'll try to stream at night too. And thank you Jedi Outcast Steve. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you guys next time on the Ultra Show.